Are you struggling with lag and blood strike? Is your game stuttering, freezing, or just not running smoothly? Don't worry. Today, I've got 15 powerful tips to help you boost your FPS and fix lag and blood strike, making your gameplay buttery smooth even on a low-end PC. Before we dive into the optimizations, I just want to say, making videos like this takes a lot of effort, so if you appreciate content that helps low-end PC gamers, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more tips, tricks, and optimizations. Now, let's get started. I'll begin with some basic settings that will instantly improve your performance, and as the video progresses, I'll share more advanced tweaks that will eliminate lag completely. So stick around till the end. Tip number one, optimize in-game settings. The first and easiest way to improve performance is by tweaking your in-game settings. So let's head over to the settings menu and navigate to graphics. Set FPS to Ultra. Some players prefer locking their FPS at 60, but trust me, if you're a competitive player, 60 FPS is not enough. Setting it to Ultra allows your PC to push for the highest frame rates possible, giving you a smoother and more responsive experience. Resolution, low. Lowering the resolution will reduce the load on your GPU, giving you a huge FPS boost. Display mode, full screen, always play in full screen mode for the best performance. Windowed or borderless modes can cause input lag and lower FPS. Graphics quality, low, if you're on a low-end PC, keeping graphics on low ensures that your system isn't wasting power on unnecessary details. VSync, off, turning off VSync removes input delay and improves responsiveness. Anti-aliasing, off, this setting smooths out edges but uses a lot of resources. Turning it off will increase FPS significantly. Display weapon customization, off, optional, if you disable this, you won't see weapon skins, but the performance boost is very minor. If you like seeing skins, keep this on, but if your PC is really struggling, turning it off can help. Filter, Vivid, this setting makes the game look more visually clear without affecting performance. Detailed Animation, Off, turning this off reduces unnecessary animations, helping you get a smoother experience. Tip number 2, Optimize Compatibility Settings. Now that we've optimized the in-game settings, it's time for the next step, tweaking some compatibility settings to make Blood Strike run even better. Follow these steps carefully, go to your Blood Strike game icon on your desktop. Right click on it and select Open File Location. This will take you to the game's installation folder. Once inside the folder, navigate to Engine Binaries Win64 here, you'll find the Bloodstrike.exe file. Right click on Bloodstrike.exe and select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab. Check these two options, click on Change High DPI Settings. Check this option and select Application from the drop-down menu. Click OK, then Apply, and finally OK again. Tip number 3, Adjust Graphic Settings for Maximum Performance. Now, let's fine-tune your graphic settings in Windows to ensure Blood Strike gets the best possible performance boost. Follow these steps, right-click on your desktop and select Display Settings. Scroll down until you find graphic settings and click on it. Click browse and navigate to your Bloodstrike folder. Go to Engine Binaries when 64 select Bloodstrike.exe once added. Click on it, then press Options. Select High Performance and hit Save. This tells Windows to prioritize Bloodstrike and force it to use your dedicated GPU instead of your integrated one, boosting FPS and reducing lag. Tip number 4. Keep your windows updated. Here's how to update windows, open settings. Go to update and security. Click check for updates. If updates are available, windows will start downloading and installing them. Let it finish in the background while you continue with other tasks. Tip number 5. Update your drivers. Outdated drivers can cause stuttering, FPS drops, and even crashes, so keeping all your drivers updated is a must for the best performance in Bloodstrike. Now, I won't bore you by telling you to manually search for each driver one by one. Instead, I'll show you the easiest way to update everything in just a few clicks. 
Go to Google and search for Driver Booster. Click on the first link and download the free version. Install Driver Booster, don't worry, it's quick and safe. Open the software and click scan. It will automatically detect all outdated drivers on your PC. Click update all and let the tool do its magic. This will update every driver, including GPU drivers, audio drivers, network drivers, chipset drivers, or any other outdated driver once everything is updated. You can uninstall driver booster if you don't want it taking up space. Tip number six, use the high performance power plan. Go to search and search for choose a power plan. Click show additional plans and select high performance. This setting pushes your CPU and GPU to run at full power, giving you a smoother and more responsive gameplay experience. Tip number seven, disable background apps. Unnecessary apps running in the background eat up your RAM and CPU, causing lag. Let's turn them off. Go to search and search for background apps. Click it and turn off background apps. This stops apps from hogging system resources, improving FPS and reducing stutters. Tip number eight, turn on storage sense. Low storage or fragmented files can slow down game performance. Storage sense automatically cleans up junk files to keep your PC running smoothly. Go to search and search for turn on storage sense. Click it and turn it on. This helps free up space, making sure your game loads faster and runs better. Tip number nine, disable Windows animations. Windows animations look nice, but they use up system resources that could be used for gaming. Let's disable them for a performance boost. Open this PC, right click and select properties. Click advanced system settings. Under performance, click settings. Uncheck all options except these three, click apply and OK. Now, your PC will feel faster and more responsive while gaming. Tip number 10, turn on game mode. Windows game mode prioritizes gaming performance by reducing background activity and allocating more power to your game. Go to search and search for turn on game mode. Click it and turn it on. This ensures Windows optimizes your PC for the best gaming experience possible. Tip number 11, clean temporary files to free up space and improve performance. Over time, your PC collects a lot of temporary files that slow it down. Clearing them regularly can boost FPS and free up storage for a smoother blood strike experience. Press Win Plus R on your keyboard. Type Temp and hit Enter. Select all files and delete them. If some files won't delete, just skip them. Press Win Plus R again and type percent temp percent, then hit enter. If the folder doesn't open, manually search percent temp percent in the Windows search bar and open it. Select all files and delete them. Skip files that won't delete. Press Win Plus R again and type prefetch, then hit enter. If the folder opens, select all files and delete them. Skip any files that won't delete. Right click on the recycle bin. Click empty recycle bin. This frees up space, removes junk files, and helps blood strike load faster and run smoother. Tip number 12, disable startup apps for faster boot and smoother gameplay. Too many apps launching at startup slow down your PC, eating up RAM and CPU power before you even open Bloodstrike. Let's disable them for a faster boot and better game performance. Right click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Go to the Startup tab. Right click on each unnecessary app and select Disable. Restart your PC for changes to take effect. This stops useless background apps from slowing down your system, ensuring Bloodstrike runs smoother. Tip number 13, the best upgrade for low-end PCs, buy an SSD. You don't need to upgrade your whole PC to get better performance, just one small change can make a huge difference, get an SSD if you're still using an old HDD. Upgrading to even a small 128GB SSD will speed up Windows boot time load blood strike much faster eliminate lag, stutters, and FPS drops. What SSD size do you need? You don't need a 1TB or 500GB SSD. 
A 128GB SSD is enough to store Windows and Bloodstrike, giving your PC a massive speed boost at a low price. Buy a 128GB SSD, install Windows plus Bloodstrike on the SSD. Enjoy instant performance improvement. If you can save a little money, this is one of the best upgrades for a low-end PC. Tip number 14, clean your PC, yes, it's important. Your PC has probably been covered in dust for years, but dust buildup can slow down performance. Dust blocks airflow, making your PC overheat. Overheating equals lower FPS and laggy gameplay, dirty fans equals noisy PC plus slower speeds. Turn off your PC and unplug it. Use a soft cloth or compressed air to remove dust. Clean fans, vents, and keyboard. Do this once every two weeks for the best performance. Tip number 15, uninstall useless apps. Your PC might be filled with programs you don't even use, and they're just sitting there, taking up space. To remove them, search for control panel and open it. Click on uninstall a program, and you'll see a list of all installed apps. Look for anything unnecessary, select it, and hit uninstall. Clearing out these junk apps can free up storage and even make your system run smoother. That's 15 tips to fix lag, boost FPS, and improve performance in Bloodstrike. If these tips helped, don't forget to like the video and subscribe, we're getting closer to 5k fam. Let's make Bloodstrike smooth for everyone.